talk about recalls and off-leash freedom. If you've done a really good job with proximity um, and going for walks and you've worked between having your dog on leash and then having them on a long line, which you may hold, and then eventually that you drop, once you feel like you never have to touch that long line again, then the dog and you are ready to be off leash. But until then, you probably need the security of the long line. Um, if you've done a super good job with proximity, your time, the dog's time off leash should look very, very much like it does on leash. Maybe not, you know, six to 10 feet, but 20 feet in front of you, coming back, checking in, going off a little bit, sniffing, checking back in. The recall is actually only for when your dog goes off for a quarter mile or whatever. Um, and then what ends up happening is we end up poisoning recalls because we end up calling the dog when the fun is over. So the dog has to come into the house and go into its crate or it's off leash time is over and we're putting it on leash. It needs to stop playing with the dogs and come with us. And that means that it's actually a punishment for the dog, even if you give it a piece of hot dog, because the dog is losing out. And so it's the definition of punishment is something that reduces behavior. Re behavior reduces over time. So um, that's why when dogs become a certain age, um, they don't come back anymore because so many times they have given up things and they have lost and that therefore your recall has been punished. And I know that none of you actually do seriously punish a recall, like your dog didn't come home for two days, so you grab it and tell it off. Please don't do that. Um, it's just not a useful thing to do because the dog then equates coming to you with being um, you being mad at them. But anyway, every time that we send the call the dog in and they lose the fun that they were doing, then we are actually reducing their ability to come. It's just punishment. Um, so one of the things that I love to do to train a dynamite recall is to break it into tiny, tiny little reinforced steps. And 90% of the time, for probably 18 months, um, it is an interruption in the fun, and it's not the end of it. So I call my dog into the house, I have a great reward experience with it, and I send them back. Or I'm on a walk, and my dog is 20 feet in front of me, I call my dog to me, I have an amazing reward experience, and I send them back for the walk. So when I call, I reward highly and I love up the dog and I give them a great reward experience um, that, and they're going back to what they were doing. I am reducing the punishment effect of the recall. Um, so when I call my dog, what does a recall to me? My definition is um, that it's the dog's name. Most of us don't teach come in any useful way that's really meaningful for the dog. So my dog's name means turn your head and look at me, move towards me and expect an amazing reward experience. So um, my recall cue is Fido. And then I will, Fido keeps coming towards me. I'm going to move away from them. I'm going to give them some space and they're going to drive into me and I'm going to have my reward experience. Really important not to push forward on your dog when you are recalling it. We do that. It's like the dog comes and we're like, here, and I give you the food or whatever. And I'm pushing into their space. I love to have a dog that wants to drive to me. So I will back up. I will run away. I will give them that space. Um, so just to go back to the, the recall, it's the dog's name. If I don't get the head turn on the name, I have asked too much in that situation. I have not necessarily trained to that level of distraction, and I need to find another way of getting the dog. So I can clap, I can run away, I can hide behind a tree, I can do all kinds of things, but there is absolutely no point in me going, Fido, come, Fido, come, Fido, come, Fido, come, Fido, come. Um, so that's my definition of a recall, definition of a recall, and that to me is why it is so um, so hard. It's because we punish it for so long, accidentally, never intend to punish it. I've lost my recall with so many dogs. 
um, because I do the same thing. I call them in from the yard and then they go into the crates, call them in from the yard and then they go into the crates. And I'm, you know, I try to do my 90% of come back and go out again. It doesn't happen. Um, but I do think that the reward experience really helps with that. 